Vic's just come back from an El San run. Why are you smiling so much? <laughs> I got paid a compliment by a canoe instructor who said that he was just, he was admiring my Indian stroke. And he was like, oh, that's good, that's it. It's a cross between Indian stroke and J-stroke. What are you actually doing there? I said, oh, it's no big deal. Ah, oh, please just punch. Yeah. How was the El San trip? Yeah, it was pretty, it was nice, really. It's quite nice to be out. And we haven't been on the canoe because the holly's in this boatyard, so we haven't been on the canoe for ages. We haven't been outside this boatyard in ages. And I think I'm starting to look like somebody who hasn't been outside, <laughs> outside of a small area for ages. Yeah. I'm Jo. And he's Vic. Together, we've been navigating the English canals with our trusty canoe and two narrowboats. One of them is our home, and the other we're turning into a travelling coffee shop on the water. Subscribe and come along for the ride. So it's Saturday today. Um, what was I going to say? Steve and Terry are in. I'm um, doing some extra cuts. Vic's just gone down to do a cut of glass on the front of the boat. That's that's the bit that he's been sort of taking care of. I've just been for a food shop. We're so tired today. I don't know how Terry and Steve do it, they just carry on. Uh, hello. Did Victor make it down here? Oh, good. Oh, there he is. Sorry, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Rumbled. How's it going? Yeah, good. Are you alright? Yeah, it's great. I'm just going to go on with the glass now, with this lock. On with the glass? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, do you know, oh, has it been sanded a bit anyway? Yeah, I just sort of sanded it down a bit. Yeah. Are you excited to do some glass? Yeah. I think it'll be the first layer of glass that we've done. Yeah, we haven't yeah. done any. Yeah. Oh, except this. This is probably glass. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, it looks really nice and bright. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Feels awful scratching such glossy work. <laughs> I don't feel right. That palette looks so cool and multicoloured. <laughs> <laughs> Every colour boat that I've painted on. <laughs> yeah, that's a proper artist's paint palette. Yeah. When you get to that point where you think, stop now, that's fine, leave it. Yeah. Just past that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a satisfying one. This one has a tendency to rip the paint off. Delivery. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> right, here off the cast, eh? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So start wherever you want to start. It's a big one now, eh? Plus. Yeah. Go for it. Now, you actually wanted to go over where you know where the weld is. Yeah. If you painted over that, oh, it would have been done. Now you're doing that, yeah, when yeah, you do yeah. the bit below, you've got to go back over it again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Doesn't matter, but it's just little things like that. And it is little things. Yeah, but that is that is what... Makes a difference. Yeah. But you're keeping a nice wet edge, which is, you're doing what you've got to try and do, is keeping a wet edge, otherwise it drags. Yeah. Like, right, just go to the edge, at the top there. Yeah. yeah. No, just go yeah. straight from the top down. Drag it, now put the roll at a slight angle, that's it, so you yeah, get the edge, that's really it. Then, that's it, now bit, don't, play it. That. <laughs> don't play with it. Don't play with it, come on! That's the thing, it's too tempting sometimes. It should be done by the hour. <laughs> He's getting good, you know. Yeah. I'm sweating like, it. <laughs> concentration on that face, I don't know if I'd see it. <laughs> how shiny that is Whoa. you can see the camera hi 
Are you enjoying doing this layer? Yeah, I am actually. There is a lot to it. You've got to concentrate on what you're doing really. You can't just sort of meditate and paint as, as happily as all that. I like it when Terry said that the panic has gone out of your brush. <laughs> That's quite a good way of putting it, isn't it? Yeah. It is quite a thing, like you do start to panic if you're like, oh no, especially if you realise you've left yourself with, with two wet edges. You two know, dry like, edges. Yeah, yeah, two drying edges. And if you start to go like, oh no, now I've got to do this bit really, really quickly, I might get away with it, but, but look at what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and sort of recover it a bit. Let's go. Good evening. We have to turn Holly around so that we can get the front of her into the boat shed and that like, easier to reach. So we're gonna go and do that whilst the wind has died down. Right, we're gonna have to do this carefully. Number one, so that any of the paintwork that has just been done, we don't, we don't scrape it off. And then we have to get out, do a little cruise up to a... Are we gonna cruise up to the winding hole? Yeah. I don't actually know where that is. I think I do. I think it's past the bridge. I'm not sure if this is the key. Is it? Did Steve tell you it was? It's not the... I don't know if it's the key for that. It's the key for that. Yeah. He didn't say it was. We need the key for this. It's going to be a really uneventful part of the video, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've built it up Stick so Stick with us, guys. We'll <laughs> take you on all sorts of adventures. I think you've never done seen this before. <laughs> Just that people should know what kind of person you really are. <laughs> yeah. Feels like I've been hauled out of retirement for this job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's not Getting too old for this. What about Paul's will he have the key? PG, yeah. He may do, but I don't he know might if he's be back. at Sheila. Yeah, from his Ooh, Let's off. go hunt Paul down. See if he's got the goods. Oh yeah, I think he's back. I suppose we should just go for it. Do you reckon? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just bothered because even like pushing boats out of the way is harder when it's windy. Hmm. Yeah, it's really windy. I don't know if we've said that yet. It's really windy today. It's like 50 mile an hour winds, is it? Or kilometres an hour 50 kilometre an hour winds, yeah. which we'd never normally like go out in that on the boat. Because we well, get slammed around. Well, we have done, we but have. we wouldn't choose to. Yeah. We get pushed into stuff. If we yeah. get like pushed into a tree and then Terry's... Like, imagine that. If Terry's work all like gets scratched. But we've got to do it. Mm, okay. Let's try and do it yeah, quick. Yeah, just but... can't imagine it too much. Yeah. Oh, look at this bit that you probably haven't seen that Steve's been working on. And then this is Terry's work that's uh, not as far along as the other side, so she started this maybe a day two. Okay. Okay, Ready? yeah. I've suddenly become really snoozy. So tired. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that's the theme of this. Yeah. Might want to open that. Can you push that door back a bit more, Vic? Like, go. No need. Look at that tiny bit. become a little bit stuck between two boats. This one. And this one that's pretty much touching. I think it's just gone down there just try and see. That's loads better, that's way more room. Oh, 
foot on the open road. People are excited to see the boat there, aren't they? Yeah. It looks so pretty. I wish I was off there, like, so I could take a photo of it. Do you reckon you can drop me I off? I can drop you off at this bit. <laughs> Say last, my beauty. She looks glorious. She looks lovely. It's so cool, I haven't seen it from this. I feel like I don't really know what she looks like. Yeah, you'll be able to see from this. How cool is that? That's the one. Can I get it run off? Um, yeah, we haven't been able to see her from this far away or anything, but now it's like, what she'd actually look like. Oh my gosh, I would totally stop at that cafe. It looks way cool. I think we were quite sleepy before this all started. But uh, scratching new paintwork really wakes you up. Sorry, Steve. Wow, she's an eye catcher. We're coming up to the winding point now, so it's just beyond this next bridge. Quick track of the wind. Your yeah, air's blowing. It's not got too much space, but... Like the wind is actually doing its job there and he's put his nose into the winding hole and the wind's helped it the back of the boat just like push round thank goodness the wind's going in that direction though because that would be so hard to go against It's making me laugh. He couldn't be more of like a, an anorak if he tried. He's got an actual anorak. Birkenstocks and socks. We're having some good reviews even on this outing. There's a couple uh, who live in that chalet and have their own narrow boat that have passed us sort of most days. Well, they passed us on the boat a few times when we've been doing her up. So it's cool that they can see the outside of her. They like it. up to the bridge so it's gonna pick me up and then we can do the nerve-wracking bit again of going past all the boats in the boatyard and trying to get in the paint shed unscarred look at these flowers that's nonsense flowers can't talk but of course we can talk my dear if there's anyone worth talking to or about <laughs> This is our little taxi rank where we'll get picked up. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks so much. See you later. Thank you. Cheers. I would have not worn socks and sandals if I knew we were going to see so many people. This <laughs> <laughs> isn't quite a social outing. Two more two masseuse, please. <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh, was it? Oh, we loved it. Yeah, we've had it about three times each day. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, we've had loads of it. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. So far, we've only um, scraped her on zero. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all right. Then. <laughs> Thank you. Home sweet home. 
Let's we'll assess the damage. Oh, there. Yeah, it's just a couple of scuffs there. Nothing too serious, though, is it? No. Yeah, it's just a couple of scratches from where we went past zero, I think. Well, it bumped into people's fenders. I think probably because the paint's a bit soft as well, because it's not been drying that long. It's nice to do a little poop on out. Nice as well, yeah. The whole boatyard comes out, doesn't they? To see it. Yeah. It's quite a sort of sort of like social procession. Yeah, it is cool. Right, what are you doing today? I am concerning myself with this front bit. I'm basically gluing up one of the heartbreaks of this work. Is that you put loads of coats of glue on, and then you sand it back. So you paint it all on, sand it all off, paint it all on again, sand it all off. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? But <laughs> but hey, it's all worth it in the end. What's your project yeah. today, Steve? Should I say repair the boat after certain people took it out? <laughs> should, should, you should can. I, no, no. Should I say that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the blues for, isn't it? Yes. I'm in here editing today. Um, yeah, the next episode. Vic's cooking some kind of stew for tonight. I think it's like a chorizo and bean stew, but it smells so good in here. But sitting here editing, it just makes me hungry all the time. I've gone through like half a loaf of bread already. pictures of you, I am concerned you've got too many. <laughs> <laughs> Key lock there then, name there. here. Yep. So really all the only bit I want black is there, isn't it? Yep. Just for the diamonds. Yep. And then tomorrow I can tape off the diamonds. Unfortunately I can't do that inside, that's annoying. What's your uh, technique here, Vic? Well, I've just realised my technique <laughs> is pretty, pretty absent from uh, this bit. So, might be alright because it's just the inside of the locker. But I was daydreaming and mostly listening to thinking about tiramisu. <laughs> Like toad in the hole, yeah, which yeah. I've not had for years, a decent one. I don't think I've ever had that. Oh, yeah, it's probably quite nice. But it sounds like it a bit. Is it like Yorkshire puddings with, with sausages, sausages in? Yeah. yeah. Spotty dick. Yeah, loves. that's what you really wanted the other night, wasn't it? Yeah. Like a, a suet kind of pudding. <laughs> yeah, so you, do you know what a lardy cake is? Yeah, we do now. Do now. Yeah, <laughs> that's because you and Paul were talking about it. Yeah, I was. Is that what you were I, I got the ingredients for that, but then I read the instructions and it was like, let the prove, let it do this. And I was like, oh, right, well, <laughs> we've got to save that for a, for a time. I mean, we love those guys, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bit quick as you can because the battery's low. What are you up to and what have oh, you done? Okay. What I've done is sanded everything down, 
with the sander that's attached to a hoover, which is a pretty nifty little device actually. And then that's basically, because I was just painting over all what had been painted on primer and stuff like that, so it had brush marks in the thing. But after I've sanded it down and then given this blue another coat. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's still raining. But I'm gonna go down and see, Victor's just um, gone down to start sanding back the bit that he was doing yesterday, well the cream bit at the front of the boat that he's got to do and uh, I'm gonna go join him. It's really tempting not to film these days because we're just so tired and uh, look bedraggled so you just want to kind of hide away and definitely not beam your tired face out to on YouTube but hey you've got to be real Let's see what it's up to. Oh, can't get in. He's got a GoPro on his head. Bit, then. That is loud. Yeah, isn't it? So now, do we do we wipe it? Yeah. So different from last time. I was doing this, like getting those screws out. This is gonna be, are you gonna put a gloss coat on? Yeah. What about these bits? <sighs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to follow along and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out. Thanks and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>